Hey, this is Amy Nicole, AMI model and fire performer. Today I want to show you how to do some stage makeup that may not be everyday makeup, but it's great makeup that'll look good under lighting or maybe under some type of dramatic setting, or if you want to really have some makeup that pops if you're going out late at night. So I'm going to show you some things today on how to make your makeup more dramatic, put some sparkle and shine in it that would be appropriate for stage lighting or just going out and really being dramatic for the evening. So I started uh, my makeup by doing a foundation before the video and a little bit of powder. The foundation I tend to use that I like a lot is Maybelline's Instant Age Rewind. It's a product I've used for about 10 years and I feel like it's the best uh, foundation that you can get at a great cost. So it has really good coverage and then I lightly go over my face with a MAC Studio Fix with a brush. The bronzer I'm using is Victoria's Secret Face and Body Bronzer and I highlight my cheekbones, forehead, chin, and a little bit under my um, jawbone for a kind of a tanner look. And then I use this blush, it's uh, Sephora's Blush Me, just on kind of the apples of my cheeks to give a warmer, more lively look to my skin tone. The next step that I'm doing is my eyebrows. I like to give a little bit of extra shape to my brows by using an eyebrow brush. And the color I'm using is just an eyeshadow. It's a, a Maybelline eyeshadow called Made for Mocha. And then after I use that brown to just highlight my eyebrows and give them more of a solid shape, I will take a black, which is a MAC Black Tide eyeshadow, and I'll just put it on the angle of the brush and go underneath the bottom of the brow to give it a little more dimension. Next I start with a little bit of a pencil eyeliner. I use a black and I go inside the inner lid of my bottom lid and just do a little bit of black there. And after I do that I'll take maybe an eyeshadow brush or a smaller denser brush and smoke out the color in the eye just to make it more of a smoky look. Remember this is dramatic so it's not as important of how perfect it is as it's more important of the dramatic effect and the deep color. Next I'm going to start on my eyeshadow. I use quite a bit of different colors to create a layered and dramatic look. The first thing that I do is I use a highlighter. Um, I think it's a Maybelline brand, the color is vanilla. It's just a white with a little bit of a shimmer. I'm going to go underneath my eyebrow and create a highlighted look which makes the bone look more dramatic at the top of the eyelid and I'll kind of bring down the white towards the center of my face uh, again to create a different illusion of a contouring. After I use that white I go in with an another color and that color is CoverGirl Mink Shadow, just an eyeshadow. And I actually use a concealer brush uh, to go in and just put that light kind of bronzy shimmer color on my lid and I bring it up almost as high as the white that I use as a highlighter. The next thing I do is use darker colors to create depth. So the first color I use is Bare Essentials Shadow in Gold Mine. It's kind of a brown with a bit of a gold shimmer and I'll take that along the crease of my eyelid and I'll bring it up just a little more to create an illusion that the eye is bigger and deeper set than it actually is and I'll bring that even a little bit more into the corner. After I take that brown color to create the depth, I'll grab my MAC Black Tide, which is a black that has a little bit of a shimmer or sparkle to it, and I'll go into the corner of my eyelid, and I'll use as much black as I can in the corner and bring it out just a little bit, smoke it out, almost pulling it out towards the outside of my face. One way that I make sure that it's not too much of a cat eye is I'll open my eyes up and look straight into the mirror to make sure that the line of where I'm putting it still is seen when my eyes are open and I'm facing forward. So I go into that crease and I just bring it around to create that more eccentric exotic eye shape that I like to do. The next step is the liquid eyeliner. This is my favorite piece of makeup and this is just an all may black liquid liner and I tend to start from the outside and draw a cat eye going towards the inside. After I make my initial line I'll fill in any parts that kind of were left without a lot of the coloring on them. I love this type of eye because it reminds me of the 60s which is my favorite era, the late 60s glam look. So at this point uh, without lashes and mascara, this is what I might do if I were to go out or do a photo shoot. But because I'm doing more of a theatrical makeup for this, this is really just my base before I put any type of glitter accessories or any type of embellishments on. 
The next step is to put on the glitter. I don't use a glue. I actually use my foundation, which is that Maybelline Instant Age Rewind foundation. I put a little tiny bit on my finger and I dab it where I want the glitter to go. As far as placement, I put more of it on the inside of my lid and bring it up to the beginning of my brow and I taper it down towards the outside. So it's actually the opposite shape than I would normally use with an eyeshadow. I take the glitter, which is in this case a MAC silver glitter, and I dab it pretty generously all over the lid where I want it to go. It's going to be messy. It's going to get everywhere. So make sure you ha just have a brush there to, to wipe away excess glitter. So cover your entire eyelid as much as possible with the glitter that you'd want to see. And then we'll go in later and create more shape and definition with the coloring and the contouring. So the glitter that I'm using, as I said, is MAC and it's in silver. The MAC glitter is really great for theatrical makeup, um, but it can be a little pricey. Another glitter I found that is amazing for makeup is Martha Stewart's glitter. It's at a Joann's or a Michael's or any craft store, I think it's about maybe six or seven dollars um, and you want the fine glitter for this type of look. You can also use a coarser glitter um, with makeup as well. What I'm doing now is I'm taking that eyeshadow and I'm going back in to create the contouring of the shape of the eye that I want, which is going into the crease, bringing it out to form a cat eye shape, and just lightly dabbing it to cover on top of the glitter to recreate that shape. So I'm pretty much just tracing what I did earlier with the black shadow. You don't want to use too much of that shadow though because it's going to make the glitter come off and we want the glitter right above the eye and towards the inside and above the eye. I'm going to go back in with that liquid liner since I covered a lot of it with the glitter and I'm going to trace that cat eye liquid liner. You can be more generous and do thicker lines for theatrical or more dramatic makeup. Again, because you're looking at the face from a distance or under lighting. So the lines can be thicker, more dramatic, more over the top. The next step is to use uh, false eyelashes. The ones I use here are NYX or NYX brand. They're really affordable. Instead of using one long lash, what I tend to do to make it easier on the placement and also to be thrifty is to cut the lash in half and that way I have a half lash on the outside of each eyelid. So I use where the longer lashes to go on the outside of the eyelid. I use a little bit of glue. The glue that I use is Duo. I use the clear glue because I can get messy, so I don't want black glue all over my face. So I use the clear glue, put a little bit of a line on the lash itself, and then give it a few seconds to dry. So I place the lash on the outside of the lid, and I'll give it a few seconds to dry before I apply the mascara. Sometimes to help with my placement, I'll even take the opposite side of my concealer or eyebrow brush and I'll use it to push the lash in instead of using my fingers. The lip aligner I use is MAC and it's the color Cherry. It's a brighter, deeper red. So I'll kind of overline my lips, especially if I'm doing any performance or I want more dramatic makeup. So I'll do just above my natural lip line and create a bigger, fuller shape. I'm very particular with my red lipstick since I love doing pinup and vintage looks. So this color really works great underneath your red lipstick. So I'll line my lips and then I'll fill the lips in on the peak of the top lip, on the corners, and on the bottom lip in the center just a little bit. This is gonna create a deeper look that makes your lips look fuller after you put the lipstick on, and it also creates a base so that your lipstick doesn't come off as easily. The lipstick that I use is by MAC, and it's my favorite lipstick. It's Russian red. It's kind of a blue undertoned red, so it won't give you that pink or orange so I put the lipstick on and it's very important, especially if you're going to be eating fire like myself, to blot the lipstick so that it doesn't come off on a tissue anymore. That way it's not going to smear when you're eating, drinking, eating fire, or anything else you might be doing. The final step with the eyes is to take a mascara and in this case I use Maybelline's Colossal Volume in black. And I'm going to put a little bit of mascara on my false lashes. In addition, I will go underneath the lash 
and coat my natural lashes with mascara, pulling it up to the fake lash so that it looks more continuous and blended. Another thing I like to do when I perform is put gems and embellishments all over my face. So I use that duo eyelash glue and I use my brush to make just polka dots of wherever I want to put any gems. You just need a little tiny bit and the glue on your face stays pretty well even through sweating. So I put a little glue there, give it about 10 seconds and I'll use gems that I just get at a craft store, Michaels, Joann's, any craft store that you might have nearby. And I just place the gems right where the glue is for an accent. In this so again, this is Amy Nicole with AMI Clubwear, fire performer, model. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my makeup tutorial today for dramatic theatrical makeup. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you can leave the comments or questions below. Or feel free to contact me on any of my social media sites, which is facebook.com slash model Amy Nicole. That's Amy spelled A-M-I-E, normal spelling of Nicole. Or you can follow me on Twitter. Uh, my Twitter name is Amy Nicole 13 That's again A-M-I-E. N I C O L E 1 3 on Twitter. Or again, leave comments here. I'd be happy to answer any questions regarding uh, the makeup that I do for theatrical purposes. Have a great day.